I'd like to show you how to get a map like this onto your website with the Open User Map plugin. The map is about favorite food places in the city of Berlin, uh, and I've added a donut shop and a coffee place. So let's get this out of the way and start with a fresh page that looks like this without the map. So at first, install the Open User Map plugin. Search for map and you should find it. Open user map, click on install. Next, click on activate. This will bring you to the uh, quick setup wizard of the plugin uh, where you can choose what type of map do you need. So there's uh, the type of interactive map which uh, will allow your website visitors to add new markers, to add new locations to your map. So uh, this is really useful if you want to build a community based on locations. What we need is a simple map for this demo. So uh, the simple map just shows your own locations that you are gonna add and no one else is allowed to add new locations. Click on next. And in the last step, it just gives you some advice what to do next, how to get the map on the page, but I will show it to you live now. So, at first, uh, we need to add some locations to the WordPress database that we want to show on the map later on. So, we go to all locations. And no locations are there yet, of course. We will add a new location. And so, this is about tasty donuts and uh, uh, you can place a marker over here on the map where the shop uh, where the donut place is but you can also use the address search so I'm searching for this place called Dunkin Donuts in Berlin and there are some but I choose this one and this automatically places the marker right over here where the shop the donut shop is so that's correct for the address I can write down what I want, so I'm, it should display something like Berlin Mitte, which is the area in the city. Uh, I can upload an image. And I can upload audio, but we don't need it. And I can write some description text. All right, that's it. Last click is on publish and our location is ready. I go to all locations and there it is. So let's add another location. Add new location. This one is about coffee. Nah, maybe. Good coffee. Uh, this place called Coffee Fellows in Berlin. It's over here. So that's correct. I can place a marker, maybe it's more located over here. So I will leave the address as it is, but basically, basically you can write anything down here. This needs an image too. So that's it. So, good. Coffee, that's my description. Click on publish and now we have two locations over here. Let's have a look at the, uh, at the website and refresh. Of course, there's no map because what we need to do now is to insert the map log into our content. So let's do this. Uh, I go to pages and edit uh, this page. So I'd like to have the map log over here. So I add a block and search for map and find the open user map block. By the way, this also works uh, with Elementor uh, basically the same way. So search for map, find open user map and add it where you want it to have. So this is the block for open user map. Uh, here you can customize things, uh, but uh, if, you, if you want to have uh, individual map styles, but we don't need it right now, we can leave everything as it is. As it is. So let's update the page and have a look. In the front end. So I refresh and there it is. 
Uh, it's a world map basically with two locations. It's our coffee spot and our donut spot. So, so far so good. Now I can show you how to customize the map a bit so that it looks more decent and fits to your needs. So I go to the WordPress, WordPress admin dashboard again and now to open user map settings. Here I will find like more than 60 options to customize the map. I will show you some of these. So at first maybe change the map style. So that's the default map style. Uh, I want to have this one. Uh, let's change uh, the marker icon. Uh, that's the default icon, the red one. Uh, let's change this as well to maybe a green one. Uh, now let's have a look back at the map. Uh, the size, the, the map size is like uh, it starts here and ends here. So this is basically uh, the same width as the, as the text content has. So it's the content width. Let's change this. I want to have the map starting from here, right on the left, all the way to the right. So I want to have a full width map. I can change this here with map size and select full width. The height should be 500 pixels. This can be done for mobile too, but we don't need it here. So this is also an important setting. That's the initial map view. So uh, as you might remember, so the initial map view is uh, the whole world, but I, I don't want my customers to see the whole world if it's only about places in, uh, in Berlin. So let's select this area as initial as initial map view so i can you can use the zoom and uh, define the area but you can also use the address search so i'm just searching for berlin and this brings me to the city very quickly and i define the area that i want to show on my on my map maybe something like like this so and there are more settings which I won't go into detail right now. Many settings, um, but let's keep this as it is and save the changes and have a look at the map. I'm back at the website and refresh the page. And there it is. Uh, our map goes from all the left to all the right and has a new map style, new marker icons and uh, but the same places, of course, our donut place and our coffee place. And that's basically it. If something does not work for you, please contact me through the plugins website. You will find a support section over there. Thanks for your time and have a good day.